six minutes. I just uh, logged on. Stop that internet. Jez, I think you're frozen. Thank you so much. cancel a game here and there because internet was like <laughs>
Let's see. What is happening, adventurers? My name is GM Dave, and I am your host for Role Play Games. And tonight, we have another wonderful Dungeons & Dragons 5e adventure for you in the world of Arcanus, the Shattered Empires. But before we begin, first things first, I have to introduce the cast of our story. First, I would like to introduce the one and only Edita Valdelanoff. Hey, hey, humans of Twitch land. Uh, hi, I, uh, I'm Tiny Amazon, and uh, I play Adita. All right, and after Adita, we have the holy champion of Kadic, the god of assassins and music, Nico Valborda. Hey, uh, well, if we're also doing uh, slight introductions, uh, I also go by Mars. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> and after Nico, we have the new, who was just introduced last week, the one and only Scion of the Mine, Fortuna Valmihen. Hey guys, my name is Kez, and yes, I'm playing Fortuna. And just below Fortuna, you know him, you love him, the lover of lamb itself, Ceres the Ceresin! Hi! Ah, uh, a man of so many words. And last but not least, fellow streamer and, as you can see, VTuber, the cleric of Larissa, the goddess of hedonism, the one and only Theodora Valshim. I also go by Shira, but happy to be uh, Theodora. Also go by Adita sometimes. Yeah, depending on who's talking. It's probably me. <laughs> All right. So we have the introductions out of the way. Now comes everyone's favorite part of the evening, at least for my cast. Everybody, roll for the F-bomb this evening. Hey, I didn't roll Ooh. below a 10 that time. Okay, so far, Theodora has taken the lead. Nico has come up. Ah! I win. <laughs> Saras, roll a d20. Ah. All right, Nico, my man. Tonight, you get the F-bomb. Well, the F-bomb is set. The cast is here. It's time to start tonight's adventure of Arcanus, the Shattered Empire, with the Burnished Band. Hey, hey. The rise and fall of empires drives Arcanus. Their petty dramas played out against the backdrop of civilizations. Peaceable halflings, Insector Disori, and Ilhuan, they were all of them wiped out by the unstoppable force of Reptilian Sethragor, whose magic twisted the elemental lords to forge the Elori, elf-like children of nature, enslaved by Sethragor and might. Abused by their cruel creators, the Elori revolted. They carved out a time of peace and order on Onara, a time when gods walked the earth. But peace is not the story of Arcanus. Ancient ships brought the humans to Onara. They slew the Illuri gods all but one. The human kingdoms rose and fell, and a dark human power grew in Amandragor. The sorcerer king who drew magic and power to him with unnatural might. In his arrogance, a curse was laid. The infernal hordes spewed forth across the world, crushing human dwarf and Elori in their wake, rising to meet them, a last alliance of humanity, the Koryani Empire, forged in a time of legend. But the age of legends is long past, and the Koryani Empire is fading. The Elori of the Vastwood return. The Sorcerer King of Mandragor sends black ships to capture all with arcane potential. Sethragor gathers power in dark machinations, and the human nations point swords at one another. Now, the mortal future is at stake. Heroes must choose the greatest good as often as the lesser of two evils. Arcanus, the world of shattered empires.
All right. Where we last left our heroes. Oh, one second. Where we last left our heroes, they had ventured into the sewers because that's where they followed their quarry. A hulking beast of... Well, they just knew it was a hulking beast. They chased it down after they lured the creature out with a... Tra inadvertently with a trap as they were escorting uh, Matakare and her sister Hatshepsut to the, Laris the main Larissan temple. And in seeing the creature, they gave hot pursuit, followed it into the sewers. As they were journeying into the sewers, unfortunately, uh, Adita, a tentacle wrapped around her leg and pulled her into the water. Now our heroes are fighting a desperate battle against a creature called an Odiog or an Otugu, depending on your pronunciation of it. And judging by yeah, Adita's... Exactly what Sarah said. Yeah, what Adita said. Absolutely. Highly accurate. I love myself a good you know, I worry about getting an Agabog, but you know. You know what? I thought about that after the last con that I went to, you know? I was like, I hope I don't catch the Agabag. Okay, well, water almost came out of my mouth on that one. <laughs> so. That sounds like uh, inspiration for Ceres. <laughs> no. Inspiration must be bought and paid for by your gold, aka channel points. If you want to give the players inspirations in this emotional damage. <laughs> if you want to give players an inspiration during the game, please spend those points. Trust me, they'll appreciate it. Now, Adita. Actually, no, I'm sorry. Nico Valborda. You see your friend getting smashed into the wall repeatedly. You see, Ceres has closed with the key creature. What would you like to do? I know one of your pistols is currently down. Yeah, um, not gonna spend the time to try to fix that right now because how dare this thing try to turn Adita into a fucking ragdoll. Eh! <laughs> wow, wow, that was phenomenal timing. So, Nico, what are you doing? Well, uh, I already have one sword out, so I want to try to bounce over Ceres to try to get to f on the other side to flank this thing and just take a couple of swipes at it with the Gladius. All right. Just because I know it's been a week and we, you know, stopped in the middle of a stream, please remember this creature kind of stood up to its full height here so if you were to get on the opposite side of it you probably have to swim damn all right i'll at least try to get next to Ceres. would i be swimming if i move there uh no you're wading through the water you had to spend a little extra movement but you're able to get there and there you're standing in front of this creature it's Three major tentacles flailing about, its jaw looking that to clamp down on one of you. Not again. No. no puppy, bad puppy, and I'm slicing for the tentacle that's holding Adita. All right, please roll the hit. Eleven hit. Eleven, unfortunately, will not hit. Let's see. Oh, ho, ho. this creature and you're fighting in the water and you're completely off your game right now. What did you do to roll 20? Oh, no, it's not my fault that roll 20 is programming. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Next in the order, Fortuna Valmihen, you are up. Well, negotiations didn't work. Negotiations sure aren't going to work. So we're going for <sighs> negotiations. <laughs> All right. Roll the hit she for me. Uh, 
I'm trying to, but it, it, let's see there where it is. There we go. Ooh, a mighty nice. blow indeed. All right. The creature is still up and it still looks plenty hardy. Anything else you would like to do? I'd like to kind of take a quick look around and see if my assistant is anywhere in the area. Knowing him, he's probably back in the tavern, though. Yeah, unfortunately, he is not available at this time. But if you leave your name and number after the beep, he may get back to you. There's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot of swearing in Val. <laughs> I'm sorry that just comes out as you would like to leave your name and oh no number. I have an oh no number. Usually anything <laughs> after nine. <laughs> All right, Fortuna uh, is done. Ceres, you're you up. Can you please provide? Some kind of stipulation <laughs> on that, Ceres. Like, you know what? I really need to know what units we're talking about here. Anything over nine, what? You know, that's a good question. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit something. <laughs> Let, let's. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with uh, <clears throat> Nerd flesh Nerd lizard. Oh, I don't oh. think one's gonna hit. Oh, oh, a one oh. is a very, very mighty miss. We don't have, uh, you're not doing, like, uh, terrible things when we do the ones, right? Not this game? No, not for this particular situation either. Mind terrible you, things happen anyway. Just to let you know, Ceres, you do have a reroll. Someone spent and got gave you an inspiration. That is the truth. Um, you know what? I will actually spend that inspiration because I always forget to use them anyways. And I will re-roll that attack with a flesh ripper. Will it? Hey! <laughs> All so, right. Ten points of emotional damage. Nice. <laughs> womp womp womp. You and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with a claw. Emotional damage. There it is. Will an 18 oh. hit? An 18 will hit. You start so tearing. Ten What's up? So ten and eight. Take it. Take it. <laughs> uh, for Once per combat, roll a d20 on the roll of one. The PC will fly to a rage. Do I have to roll that? By the way, I never understood how, how, and when I had to roll that. Well, since you used your inspiration and negated that one. Okay, that's what I was curious about. Because <laughs> taking a point of temporary constitution damage is very unfortunate. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it is. So, anything else you'd like to do, Ceres, or are you done? No, no I'm going to rip into him. I'm going to sit here until it's dead. All right. There. I'm su surprised you're not raging. The creature. First thing first. Uh, Adita, please give me a constitution saving throw. Hmm? Hey, can can I request a check on whoever's PC is streaming sound out? It's still Dave. Yep. It's really hard to hear you guys. All right, 12. Roll 20 continues to be my muse and goddess. Um, unfortunately, she is vengeful, spiteful, and kind of a twat. <laughs> All right. You'll take this. Armor guy, save me from roll 20. Failing that, armor take guy. the wrath upon thyself. Has armor guy made his, his, his uh, deity appearance? All right, take seven points of damage. And unfortunately, you are stunned. Okay. 
Unfortunately, I'm stunned. All right. After, uh, unfortunately, Adida cannot act. Mm -hmm. Theodora, you're up. I'm going to go for a shot to try and uh, get Adita down. Remember to hold the flintlock sideways. Uh, or not. Or not. Now, see, didn't hold it sideways. Well, Adita, or I'm sorry, Theodora, you do have a um, reroll if you would like to I have a feeling it. I'm going to need that later, so I'm going to hold off on that. <laughs> All right. Anything else you would uh, like to do? I want to. I'm gonna move a little more down the tunnel, just to make sure nothing else is coming from this other direction, and also to spread out a little bit. All right. I should be fine there. Mama and Nico. Famous what, last words. What you got? I'm double checking one of my spells real fast. Wow, I just remembered I had two more attacks. No, you don't. My turn my turn's over though. This is also why I moved all the way the heck over there. Alright, uh yeah. Just to kind of start countering some of the roll 20 loveliness, I'm going to go ahead and cast Bless on Ceres, Adita, and Fortuna. Nice. Okay. Is that a... Oh, thank you. A, a D4 for attack rolls or saving throws. Very nice. Let's see. Would you like to move or are you staying put? Yeah, I'm actually going to stay there. Well, no, 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 no. I will move back a little bit. So just behind Ceres. Okay. Fortuna. Okay. So I'm going to move over here by Nico. Uh, pass over my gun to him. And then I'm going to cast my uh, Ego Whip. All Ooh. right. Let's say I believe that's a saving throw, correct? Yeah. It is a Charisma saving throw, spell save 13. All right. It has an 11, so what happens? Let's see, you destroy a creature's confidence and fill it with self-loathing and doubt. So literally <laughs> emotional damage. He nice. takes a d4 of psychic damage and has disadvantage on the next attack roll it makes before the end of its turn. Next turn. Okay. So uh, I go guess ahead. I roll that d4. Yep. Do you want me to roll it for you, or? I got it. It's only one, go. but still. <laughs> All right, but I it hurt has. its feelings. <laughs> but it's going to be, um, it's going to be at one attack at disadvantage, which is good. All right. Would you like to move or do anything else? I did move so that I was behind Nico to give him my gun. Okay. Ceres. Okay. I'm going to attack. I'm going to hit it with a sword. I know, surprising, creative, mm -hmm. unique, as some might say. Will a 16 hit? A 16 will hit. Okay, hold on. I'm adding my 4 to it, though, because I can do it every time I attack. Nice. So, so that's 18. an 18. Yes. Uh, 8 damage. <laughs> and now I'm going to claw it. Does a 20 hit? Yes. 22. Take five more. Okay. You see the creature is now starting ah. to look bloody. Good for it. We're going to get it dead. Okay. Adita. 
Give me a constitution saving throw. And roll your d4 for being blessed. You can do. Hey! hey! Okay. You're like coming around and you're starting to be like, okay, I'm getting my senses back. Take 10 more points of damage because you're still getting slammed into the wall. Ah! Oh. But you are not stunned anymore. Are you up? And you're no longer... As soon as he hit you into against the wall, he let you go. So you're over here now. That was its first attack. Second attack. It's going to attempt to bite Ceres. I assume a 25 will hit. Ooh. What if I tell you no and lie to you? <laughs> I would say don't do that. Oh, well. Let's see. Two. Mm -hmm. Take 17 points of damage. Okay. As it bites into you, you see the creature reaches down and starts... It latches onto Ceres, gives him a little shake before Ceres is able to get out of its jaws. And Nico, you can't ex let's see. Uh yeah, you can't escape the tentacle. Oh no. I assume a twenty-two will hit. If I tell you no, would you believe me? No. So take this. Plus Okay, take 10 total points of damage. And now, give me a... Let's see, an escape. Athletics or acrobatics? Is there acrobatics in this edition? I don't remember anymore. No. Yes, there is. Give me 10. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, as the creature has dropped the Dita, it now grapples you and picks you up into the air. Don't worry, you don't have to roll your saving throw yet. But I took damage already. That was for Bless. Mm. Oh. Ooh. So you rolled a seven. There goes Bless. bless. Is, yep. There goes Bless. Okay. Whew. Thank you for reminding me about the concentration checks. You're a good, honest player. <laughs> Let's see. But it's done. Next, Adita, you're up. Okay. I'm hoping that I can that I'm hearing stuff correctly. So if I screw this up, guys, I'm sorry. The internet kind of hates me today. Um, so uh, I guess the best I've got is that Adita is, she's lying prone where she fell into this murk. Um, <clears throat> so Adita is going to take a shot at this thing from the floor. Um, do you want me to roll at disadvantage for that there, GM? Mm. No, not for this instance, because you're using a ranged weapon. Yes. Nope, roll the hit. Okay. All right, so let's see if if my trusty um, flintlock, which is fired in this position and not this one, Theodora, just in <laughs> case you were unaware. Wow! Oh, question before you fired. Right. Do you use your bonus action to make this thing your quarry? Oh, right. I suppose that's a thing I probably could have done if I had been paying good enough attention to my character sheet. 
full disclosure, my character sheet is only partially loaded. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having okay. a day, folks. So you do 10 points of damage. Now roll a d6 for your quarry. Sure. All right, so it takes 13 total. Yeah, it really felt that. Ooh, nice. It's starting to look a little bit hurt. Anything else you would like to do, Theodora? Would you like to move or would you like to stay there? Um, I'm Adita. Just in case there was a, a lack of clarification. That's Theodora. Um, actually, that's Theodora, I think. All right. Anyway, uh, Theodora's the hoe in the red toga. <laughs> and that would make me the bitch with the shaved head. So, incidentally, this thing about to be my bitch. <clears throat> so, you know what? Screw it. Here we are. We exist. I, I'm gonna... I will take a second shot with this thing. With... With my off hand. You can't, because you already used your bonus action. Oh, yeah, I did. So we can ignore that really pretty 26 with its oh. terrible three. You know what? Nah, there's really nothing else that I can do usefully here. I'm not even gonna try to stand up. Okay. Yeah. Theodora, you're up. Alrighty, how rough is Adita looking? Um, on a scale of, say, 0 to 36, <laughs> she's probably, like, feeling about an 8 right now. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, that, that's that's a good that's a good scale. That's a, that's a good scale. Um, yeah. For context, on a scale of zero to forty-three, Ceres is a seven. Context mm. is really important. Um, what are the units on that Ceres? Mm. Uh, my health points. Yep. <laughs> yeah, what about those nine units? Uh, uh, We're talking about those nine we units. We're talking about healing word or something. So. No, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna step into the water and do the much more potent uh, cure wounds. I don't know which to do it. <laughs> do any mini mighty mo. Uh, evens or odds? Odds. Okay. Adita, you've been granted inspiration. Thank you, good humans. Okay, it's a, it's Adita. Apparently. Are you are you sorry, Ceres? Are you raging? No, not yet. Oh. Okay, that might change things. Where is the roll twenty? There we go. I have so many times. So many times. Oh. Character sheet, spells. And not best not late. Uh, where is the. That's not. Hmm? Where is C for cure wounds? There it goes. All right. Uh, nine hit points. Woo! That's doubled my life expectancy today. Uh. Okay. I am going to back up. I don't think I'm in its range. No. Okay. I'm going to back up and let you guys do your thing and prepare to do the same thing next round. So go ahead. Nico Val Borda. 
So because we've been rolling so many nat ones between last time and today, can I just get advantage on my attacks? <laughs> <laughs> you wish. Uh, are my since this thing has me with the tentacle, are my arms at least free to attack it or you can attack it um with a light weapon. Good thing Gladii are light weapons. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, I'm actually not going to trust World 20 on this one, so I'm going to spend the use of Kadic Guides My Hand to get advantage on this attack. Nice. Okay. How awesome it would be if he rolls two nat 20s. Wow, that's really cool. Ooh. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you know, when you roll, you roll, all right? I you know, if, this, if this was third edition, those, those 18s would have been crits. <laughs> <laughs> oh don't we all wish but that was your first attack was the other one your bonus action to cast that yep but uh you said this one was looking pretty messed up he's looking there yeah oops that's not what i wanted to do <laughs> uh yeah this this thing annoyed the hell out of me so uh guess what's coming for it okay All right, eight more points of damage for a smite. Yep. And that's my turn. All right, Fortuna, you're up. Okay, so when I went to hand Nico the gun, did it? he just get swept up before the gun he <laughs> got to his hand? Yep. <laughs> so I'm left holding a gun there, looking flustered. And just recock it, and we're just gonna go ahead and open fire on this thing. All right, go for it. Ooh. Yeah, that did not work out. Mm. Negative. And let me see if I have any bonus action things I can do. Yeah, no, that's about how I feel. Mm. I do not. So that, let me go ahead and see where I am. I'm not going to line up because that's a good way where I can already see this thing's going to hit an adventurer with another adventurer, so I'm going to move slightly. Yeah. Uh, this is one of the uh, monsters that's also known as the beater of motherfuckers with other... Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you he know, pulled a shadow. It, it came uh. out, and I'm so sorry, Mars. <laughs> Next time I get one, it's yours. <laughs> oh, that one, that one did slip out. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I think it's and pretty as as, I think it's as pretty soon as I said mother, I was like, ah! <laughs> but the brakes couldn't be halted. Darn. I'm sorry. And that's my turn. <sighs> Alright. Uh, next. Ceres. Ah, it is my turn. I will, uh... I will first steal Nico's prize for the day, <laughs> and then afterwards, I will uh, attack it. Uh, I'm actually going to rage, because if it hits me again with like a 19, I'm going to die. <laughs> so let's let's Rajay. Okay. And then I'm going to hit it with... Oh, wait. What happened? Get back here. Uh, I what? got a crit. <laughs> Nice. Very nice. 
I have no idea if you guys can hear me, but like that we can now. Bala. Yes, we can. It seems that your stuff has so far leveled out. Nice, Let's nice, see. Nice. So twenty-one total points of damage. Yes. Is it dead? It's still up. Oh. Uh, twenty-one plus two, twenty-three. Because I'm raging. Oh, okay. So a few more points. How much total? 23. So two extra. All right. Still up. Oh. oh don't you have that rage power? Yeah, Hellish Rebuke. Not Hellish Rebuke. The one where your spirit does an extra D8 of damage. Oh, I do actually. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give up my advantage because I didn't use it anyways. And I will uh, do the extra D8. <laughs> But that also gives him advantage on me. So, an extra two more points of damage. But remember, you critted. And that's a damage dice. Oh, it is. So, another damage die. So, take another seven. Nice. Oh, this creature. It is bleeding. You see Ceres just tear into it. But you see it's standing and its legs are shaky. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna claw at it now. <laughs> ah, but didn't you use your bonus action already? Do you use bonus action to fly into rage in this edition? Yes. Oh, I hate that because that was another crit. Oh! <laughs> also, someone better to be doing push-ups. That's all I know, right? You roll for the one that didn't necessarily count. <laughs> okay, I would have done another eleven. No, it doesn't take it. Sorry. Yeah, no, it's okay. <laughs> All right. Let's do Nico. Nico, give me a constitution saving throw. Ooh. Ah, All I right. still had advantage clicked on for some reason. We'll keep the 17 because it's on the left. Unless you want to roll, roll again. Oh, I'm not rolling again. I'm keeping that 17. What's wrong with you? <laughs> but you'll still take this. Oh, wait, one okay. more. Hold on. Oh, one point of damage? Perfect, okay. Three points of damage! Okay. Uh. Wow. Okay, that's luck. That was the slam against Nico on the wall. Um, next, we are attempt going to attempt to tentacle hit Fortuna. Uh-oh. Will a 17 hit Fortuna? One second, because I'm checking that. Mm. Yes. All right. Go. Okay, what is going on here? Come on, roll 20. Work with me, roll 20. Oh, there we Take go. Ooh. Ignore the, ignore the four, but you take the eight. Oh. Actually, it's eleven total because it does have a strength modifier. All right, now it's going to attempt to bite Ceres. Will a nine hit? No, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll be honest; I had a small heart attack there for a second. <laughs> so did I. I was like, ah. <gasps> All right. Next. Adita, you're up. Am I up? Yes. yes. I, at best, like, if somebody could throw it in the chat, that'd be awesome. I was okay. It's like, I can't even... I'm just going to assume since I'm up on the tracker that is me, so. Why isn't it? Oh, that's why. Have a shot to the face, maybe, assuming it'll go through. Hey, look, a shot to the face. Yay. Sorry, guys. I'm not my usual self. Like, I can't hear anything that's going on and can barely see video, so. <laughs> if I may recommend. I don't even know what to tell you anymore. If I may recommend, try turning your computer off and on. <laughs> okay. 
All right. All right, and with that, the thing had four hit points left. Oh, yay. So we're going to put a nice big skull on it. The creature screams in agony and lurches and falls to the ground dead. Oh. I eat it. Oh my god. Give me a constitution saving throw. No, we're going to stop Please him. Please do not. We're going to stop him. I fail. Yeah. As soon as you put your mouth on this thing, it tastes literally like garbage. That's very unfortunate. I'm going to pull them. I'm going to pull them away. Okay. So if you guys want, go ahead and move your characters back. Out of the water if you want. Unless there's anything else you want to do in the water. Uh, no, but after... Uh, if we're going to continue down this hallway, I'm going to pop my healing potion. Uh, are we going to continue down this hallway? We're rough. We're very rough. We're very rough. If only someone had a wand of cure wounds, right? Oh, right. I have that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Every I time. I have that thing. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use the wand of uh, wounds on Ceres. How many charges do I have? Like six? Yes. It refreshes 1d6 plus one every day. Yep. So Just don't go below zero. Seven? You should have seven because you haven't okay. used it in a couple weeks. Right. Okay. I only used it once in the last fight. Uh, cure wounds. Uh, Ceres? Well, of course. Of course you only get the four. Uh, Nikos. <laughs> I'm going to try this again on Ceres. And don't forget Theodora. And there we go. And Adita. That's what I meant. There we go. All right. So that's four of the seven. So we're down to three. Okay. Does anyone else need some healing or is everyone going to be good for How's now? How's Fortuna? Um, not quite bloodied, but a little bit above it, like close to. On a scale from what from one to ten. <laughs> <laughs> On a scale from zero to twenty-four, I'm looking at about a thirteen. Right, oh, you're halfway there. You're fine. There you go. You get five points. Thank you. Whap. All right, so we have two. Two. We have one. One usage left. Do we want to, uh, since we finished the fight, we could uh, call it short here, or do you want to continue a little bit further since uh, Theodora is uh, having incredible difficulties Adita? communicating? Adita. Adita is having incredible difficulties communicating back or forth, which I'm very sorry, chat. This is, uh, you know, unfortunately we don't plan for these things, but. Uh, internet being things. internet? Yeah. Well, what I can do is. Um, let me go talk to Adita really quick, and maybe she could sit in here for this next part coming up. Okay. So, chat, how have you been? How's your time? I hope you're enjoying the stream. How's your How's your week been? Yeah, tell us. We're so curious. Oh my god. <laughs> and meanwhile, I'm getting used to these crazy people. Listen, I've been in a circus. I haven't seen a mess quite like this. That it, it, this is quite a mess. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it is not. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, by the way, Ceres, how did that thing taste? Ugh. So so what have we told you about eating things as soon as you kill it? Ugh. That's you're rough, Seppi. <laughs> oh god, why Seb? Saving a 2 plus gigabyte every 10 minutes? Yeah. Are they having issues with their interwebs or I don't know. No, he's save thing. he's saving. He's saving an image. Mm. And getting stuck because it's a big file. Ah, okay, that makes more sense to the me. Yeah.
It's a huge commission. Is it like the 10 picture commission? Or is it just a giant image? Hi, Callie girl. Happy. What are you doing 10 character. Uh... Ouch. I mean, hopefully it pays well. Yeah. We might, we might. It depends what's going on, armor guy. Because we don't know. We lost this thing in the sewers. It's had how many rounds of full movement to get through there? Yeah, there's been a lot that's been going on also. You know, uh, Heidi came in. It's uh, It was a rough day for them. And uh, just in general. Like that. It's a lot of da-da-da-da. Yeah. And honestly, I understand the frustration because I, I, I don't know if I can play like that. I couldn't. Yeah, it's 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 infuriating. Like, I don't know. Kitty! Kitty! Um. All right. Sorry about that, everyone. No, no worries. Okay. We can talk with Strum. There's a cat behind you. Probably. All right. Let's see where we at. All right. I take it you're going to continue down the hallway. Or the sewer. Oh, boy. Following the trail. <clears throat> Correct. I will go ahead and cast our torch again so we can get through and everybody can see what we're doing. I technically still have the dex thing because I never got hit. Yep. Oh, well, lucky you, Theodora. <laughs> oh, that's not what I meant. Do it all. I was wondering if you guys wanted me to go first because I have the most health. That's some more push ups. <laughs> nice. Uh, should we be rolling stealth? We should probably be rolling stealth. Ceres is definitely stealthing down here. And he's doing it his favorite way. Dun 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 I'm rolling stealth. Not my forte. Gonna roll stealth as well. That's an 11. And I'm assuming you'd probably want me to stop about here, David. Do you want me to continue? All right, when you what? all get about there, everyone, please move up your uh, tokens. So, with Fox's Cunning, the target has advantage on... Oh, not Fox's Cunning, sorry. Uh, Cat's Grace. Dexterity checks. That's just dexterity checks itself, right? Not skill checks. With dex as the modifier. Or is Correct. that what I'm... Okay. It's only skills. So, like, the decks, then, no? Yeah. So, like, okay, stealth, so you, I have to roll, you get to roll with an advantage. Got it. Okay. What the hell is stealth? There we go. That's much better. All right. As you all approach... Okay. As you all approach and Ceres, you get to the, like, right here at the top, you see a figure emerge. Let me go ahead and put this thing. Ah! Uh, mm, mm. You see this hulking creature that may at one point was humanoid. But you see... Half of its body is covered in what appears to be insectoid chitin. The other half still looks about human. The face of this creature looks like uh, a bug monster that had these large mandibles plus teeth. And half his face looks insectoid. Um, while the other half, you do see a regular human eye and what appears to be a tattoo of a teardrop. Oh. Oh, no. All right. The creature you face standing up on its feet and holds its hands up in a clicking rasping voice it addresses you 
Hold! Peace! I have no quarrel with you. I am of the Ilhuan and mean you no harm. Suddenly, the creature convulses slightly and in a very human voice says, Please! My name is Sentment! Help me! Okay, you all. What would you like to do? Not shoot. Not shoot. <laughs> I grab Sarus by the back of the neck and hold him yeah. there for a second. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, very good move. Uh, Theodore is going to approach uh, in a non-confrontational manner. Okay. Like, still tense and ready to do something should something happen, but will approach. Okay. You see it has, it's taking no aggressive stance or no aggressive actions towards you. Okay. Um, since Tiny Amazon is having difficulty with their um, thing, we're communicating through the discords, and uh, she wants to squish it. No. <laughs> Squish. No squish. No okay. squish. <laughs> Fortuna is also going to move up with Theodora just to give her some backup in case things go south. I'm going to leave real quick. I'm going to find the biggest boot that I can find. <laughs> All right. A chancla the size of a minivan. All right. Just. <laughs> I'm just going to try and approach very calmly and be like, what, what was it? What did he say? His name was Setmet? Yes. Setmet was the name of the guy you were right. originally looking for. Right. As soon as you said cheer drop on the eye, I knew who it was. Says, okay. We're not going to harm you. We were actually trying to find you to help you. Not going to alarm you, but uh, Adita has their claws out, just in case. Uh, it's okay. fine. It's fine. I, and she's going to stress the we're not going to Whoop. What ha what happened? Mm -hmm. In the human voice, I am recently from Abessios. When I <laughs> arrived here, I had no money and no friends. My uncle, with whom I was to stay, had been murdered during a robbery. Having no one to turn on, I fell in with Manu, and he forced me to work at the docks, letting him and his gang in take a few choice goods during the night. Last night, I somehow fell asleep, and they w the other night. I somehow fell asleep, and they awakened me when they arrived. We found a nearby warehouse filled with crates, although when I had started working, it had been empty. We opened one crate and found three treasures inside. Not wanting to get caught, we fled and dreamed of riches we could sell these ancient artifacts for. While they drooled over the helm and staff, they tasked me with opening the urn. When I did... I found a half dozen or so of these green spheres. I picked one up to show Manu, but it proved so fragile that it shattered in my hand. This green syrup sprouted all over me. I tried to get as much off as I could. Manu had a few of his thugs beat me for my carelessness, and I lay upon the mat, dazed from pain. Uh, after a bit, a buzzing voice in my head woke me. I saw myself beating and killing Manu with the rest of the them with my bare hands then i saw i had become a monster i was no longer in control of my body and i saw it me grab the urn and leave this place i could understand its needs and i knew it wanted host for the rest of its eggs i encouraged it to only take those that did not deserve to live i had met a kind of young i met a kind young woman who treated me like <clears throat> I had met a kind young woman who was treated like chattel by Manu. She was made to do unspeakable things and turn over all her money to him. Manu has already Manu, Manu was already dead, but there were others who were just as guilty. They are now inside those cocoons, gestating. And he points, and now you can see what appeared to have been pillars seem to be large alien like egg sacks. There. But, please, I can already feel you taking back control. Kill me! Don't let me leave like this, please! And you see that it, it kind of moves, convulses a little bit. And now, you can tell that a different persona has taken over. We are of the Yilhuan. 
We do not have individual names as you do. We were once a mighty race of philosophers and builders until we were warred upon by the vile Sethragorians and their meat puppets, the Alori. They destroyed our cities, smashed our eggs, and hunted us down like animals until we were no more. It could be because you look like giant roach. <laughs> it looks specifically at Ceres. I see the butchers still live. We urge you, yes. human, kill those creatures while you still can. If not, they will rise up and destroy you as they did us. Yes. What? Shut up, you. No one asked your opinion. Are you a cobbler? No. Okay. There are two very different stories going on here. Uh... So, Bugman is talking about how their race was exterminated by the Sethragores? The Sethragorians, the okay. Reptilian Empire. Right. Okay. So this was like... <laughs> I'm sorry, but this was like a uh, bug, bug fight lizard. And... Okay. She kind of looks at the rest of the group on like what they want to do, and I know she, uh, I, I know Adita is like smush. Uh, Adita has gotten angrier because uh, they asked uh, you guys to kill her lizard. Yeah, no, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> uh, Dave, as that thing is talking, can I try some kind of insight check to see which one might be lying, which one's telling the truth? Oh, I think they're both telling the truth. Well, which one's telling the better truth that we might like? Yeah. Nope, I got nothing. I'll give it a shot. Go for it. <laughs> okay, so far, it seems to be on the level. Ne <laughs> uh, neither one of them is true thing, is what Adita says. Either way, I, I don't like the idea of this thing taking over more hosts. So, yeah, I agree. Uh... It, it holds up its hand, or hand and mandible. Mm hmm. Please. It, in, allow me to explain <laughs> our story. In desperation, our queen hid a brood in the sealed urns and hid these small atolls off the coast of the mainland, hoping that our people would one day live again. When this human broke my egg, we were able to gestate quickly in his form. Unfortunately, the human wiped off much of our being and we're only able to partially manifest upon this plane. Thankfully, it was enough to enable us to find other hosts for us. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Please, we mean you no harm. We took these humans only for the chance to let the ill one live again. My host felt that these hosts were tainted and did not deserve to live their life to its normal end. We have no more eggs to incubate, we merely seek to live in peace and seek out the rest of our cachet hidden away. I ask you, would you not risk all to do anything to assure the survival of your race? We ask only to be left alone and in peace. We have learned that your people live upon the ground, up upon the ground and only rarely venture below. The Ilwan live mostly underground and rarely travel above. It is... is it not logical then that of all the intelligent races upon this world, Arta will find it most easy to peacefully coexist? Well, I've had a moment to dissect your argument. You said that you aren't here to hurt us, but you've hurt a couple people. In fact, the host you're in is absolutely innocent, isn't he? You said it yourself. Yes, I mean, but these aren't innocent, but they are still human. And yet but, you're telling us not to kill, to go ahead and kill our friend here, our lizardy friend, because he's going to hurt humans, but you've just hurt humans. Yes, but his people exterminated my race. Uh, Ceres is picking his nose. What? And these people here, they were the, they were chosen by our host. 
because they are vile, terrible people. They have done things that are unimaginable. Huh? All you right. do understand how you're playing God and judge and jury and execution are all at once, right? I have no more interest of hurting humans. I will take these eggs. I will go to ground. You may, you will never see us again. I just want to save my race. What kind of guarantee do we have that you'll keep your word? None. I can only give you my word. This is my people's last chance. I can make a guarantee. <laughs> uh, uh. So, Dave, <laughs> this. Uh, thank you, Kez, for picking up on what I was about to ask about. What, knowing that she is Valmihan, would I know that she can do this? Not every Valmihan has the ability. But I do. It would take 10 minutes. 10 minutes? I don't know what 10 minutes. A contract? Some wax? I can make a signet ring work. Would you be prepared to take an oath under Sirish? Yes. If it means the chance that my people could survive, yes. Oh, it could mean your people could survive. It could mean they suffer a horrible fate if you go back on it. I'm what must we as do? To what you're doing here? The Sarishan I... oath. Do you want to put that in the chat? Uh, I think you can actually put it in the chat. You just have to click can on I? it. Yeah, like I did with my uh, my well, <laughs> my thing. So there, there what we will go. a saucy oath do? What kind it's of a very saucy using? oath? It's we're using Tabasco, but. <laughs> Just to quickly summarize what the spell does, uh, magical seal upon a contract. Uh, once sealed, all parties of the contract must follow to the best of their ability. If any party violates the contract, DM discretion, that individual immediately suffers the coast of the Earthbreaker. And uh, it's bad things. It's it's okay. really bad things. Okay. Uh, nope. Theodore does have a question. You wish to bring your brethren back. Yes. And you say you have a cache of a cache of some sort. Are you going to use other people as hosts? We may not even need that anymore. With this so, amount of people, we can create our people yet again. Okay, so let me get this straight. You drop contract, all right? We have a Sriracha Oat, okay? And then you can go ahead and enjoy the rest of your life somewhere else underground uh, and kill uh, kill Ceres at some point. Can there we will not be no Ceres the... killing. Can we, and can she's we just not writing, the there's Ceres. no Ceres killing. Can we, can we not do the Ceres killing? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's self-defense, but not... You know oh, what I mean? I while you guys are organizing that, I'm going to go get my cup of coffee okay. for pre-work. <laughs> no, no problem. I, I feel bad for poor Setmet. <laughs> and while Ceres is distracted by something, I'm going to carefully go around the room and just start checking things around, see if, like, see if everything is on the up and up. Um, if you want, while they're engaged, give me an investigation. Can I assist? Or uh, I will try myself. Please assist. Or you do it. It's slightly better. Everything seems to be exactly what it is right now. You see that there's these large incubation pillars. And there seems to be like some sort of beating occurring. Question to the thing. All right. I forgot what wow. the name was. Ilwan. Ilwan. Uh, by the way, GM, is this anything like the thing we were chasing? Yeah. Oh, okay. 
You were following us before. Were you not? Yes. I believe it was the boy Senmet who was keeping an eye on the girl. Ah, uh, okay. That makes sense then. Okay. So that, that boy is pretty much gone with all this, right? It sighs and says, unfortunately, yes. Eventually, his soul will pass back into, I believe, what humans call the cauldron. Can you let him know that Prashapet is going to be safe? He can hear you. And there is a sense of relief from him. He will be safe. She is with her sister. They will seek sanctuary at the temple and will be, hopefully live a much better life. One that she volunteers for. He, it bows its head to you. And you can see the eye with the teardrop. There seems to be a little tear that runs down to it. I'm so sorry for what you've gone through. I genuinely hope you find rest. At this point, Fortuna, you finalize the contract. It sits down. It, you go through the steps. You cut your hand. It cut it hand. It bleeds onto the paper. And you see the symbol of Sarish at the bottom of the page lights up. And on this creature's hand, you see a flare of the symbol of Sarish. And as soon as you see it, it quickly, you know, disappears. And you felt no resistance from it. And you get the sense that it has been earnest and Fortuna in your mind, you hear, thank you. I understand your apprehension. It had a complete psionic link with you. Um, she responds due to the nature of my forefather so to speak I don't like the idea of wiping out a race especially not one with roots in magic psionics especially not one with roots in psionics um, is, can it read everyone's mind? <laughs> You know, that kind of makes me wonder what kind of elevator music is going on in Ceres's head. <laughs> right. Fortuna hasn't taken a peek in there for a reason. Like, there's, there's like three, there's th he's, so there's two people arguing in his head, all right? And then he's just listening to elevator music the whole time while they're going at it. Wow. He's just sitting there going, I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Diddly -diddly. All right. And with the binding I'm so glad done, I was muted for that. <laughs> the binding is done. It will bow its head. I need a few hours, but I will take these eggs and I will take them deep into the ground. No more harm will come to your people. One small question for you then. Where's the urn? Points to the ground. You kind of missed it behind an egg. You see the urn and there's nothing in it. Can I cast the important identify part is on here? Like... Identify? That's going to take about 10 minutes. Darn. Okay. Can we just, is there a top? Can we just like, boop? And be like, look, we got your stuff back. I mean, part of me, part of me thinks that it's probably best that the eggs are no longer be a risk, uh, knowing, um, because I, I can only, I can only imagine what would happen if some of the upper people in the temples and whatnot got their hands on those things. All right. I mean, there are no more eggs in the urn. It's completely mm -hmm. empty. If you want, you he, the creature will gladly allow you to take it okay all right anything else you... 
Oh, sorry. This thing won't replenish the eggs, right? There won't be any more in here that just magically appear. I hope not. Okay. I mean, do you know? Do I know? No, it's fine. <laughs> There's one way to find out. Let me taste the inside of the urn. No. No, Ceres. I don't think we want a Ceresent umber. I, I prefer not. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the urn and just kind of wash the inside of it with whatever water's nearby, just mm -hmm. in case. Yeah, probably for the best. I can identify that later when we're not in the middle of the source right. later, and we're probably gonna want right. to wash it with something other than sewer water. Fair point. Alcohol should work, right? It has an alcohol. Uh, it has a <laughs> some sterilizing content. Yeah, fire would I work. Mean, Alcohol works for what's on the inside and the outside, so it should be good. Let's go mm. get alcohol. I second this. It's been a very long night. Okay. It, bid, it, bid, it bows to you and bids you farewell. Oh, there is going to be like, so that thing that was that tried to kill us earlier? Oh, I stayed thing? away from it. Okay, so it wasn't with you. No. Okay, good to know. Well, I wish your people find hope. I wish your people find your solitude and peace. And I hope that there is some semblance of paralleled existence without conflict. As a wise man once told me, I hope that your gods keep you safe far away from us. We're atheists. I hope your uh, your whatever atheist god you have keeps you far away from us. It, Theodore is just gonna pat Ceres on the shoulder and Theodora. urge him away before Theodora, the. Theodora, what atheist? I'll explain later. Oh. All right. Fortuna's rubbing the bridge of her nose, thinking of the paperwork that all of this is gonna require, <laughs> and she's like, "It's my final mission. It's my final mission. This is the last <laughs> time I have to do it." It's my final mission. All right. As and with that, you exit the sewer and you head back probably to a different tavern this time. And we'll find out what tavern it is and what our heroes will be doing next week. Before we go, uh I want to say a quick thank you to all my cast members who were playing with us today. Yay. And Woo! And what this is the time. Man. <laughs> this is the time where I kind of give my cast members a chance to tell us about what projects they have going on and how you can find them again. Um, Adita, can you hear me or talk? Hello, Probably not. I'm Adita, I have. Uh, you can always find me at Tiny Amazon. I have books that are coming out. I do amazing job. Uh, I do wonderful voice acting. So hire me. And, uh, yeah. All right. Nico. Uh, yeah. So, name's Mars. And you could also catch me on, well, now Wednesday nights with Disasters in Danger. Uh, at the, I forgot to pull the link up. Give me a second. How <laughs> dare. Okay. Ah, there, there we go. go. Yeah, R.E.P. R.P.G. Random Encounters Productions. All right. Uh, Fortuna. So I have a couple of things. If you guys are Orlando locals, uh, we are, Mars and I are both a part of a, since we're talking about doing things for your physical health as well as your mental health, we are a part of a stunt team down here called Lance Orlando. Um, we are going to be heading hopefully to QuestCon very soon. So keep an eye out for that. On the note of QuestCon, I will actually have an art table at QuestCon. It's the first art table I've had in a while. So if you're interested in getting some of your own D&D characters drawn, it'd be a good time to check it out. QuestCon here in Orlando, August 20th. All right. Ceres. What? Who? Who? Uh, you can catch me Mondays with three, as in the number three B radio, three B radio. 
three B ray. Oh, I messed up. A radio. <laughs> there it radio. is. Radio. All right, three B radio here on Twitch on Mondays. I do that Mondays. You can also uh, later on today probably catch Shura your stream later tonight, right? Yeah. You can catch Shadow Shura or another friend of mine, the Gritting Gamer, who finished their current goals but is working on some more things. You can catch them later tonight. All right, and Theodora. Hello, I am Shadow Shura. I will be hopefully cross my fingers, internet willing, allowing me to finish streaming some of the end game for Arceus on my channel. All right. Hopefully. As for myself, um, we're going to, after we stop the stream at around 10 p.m., we will be back. <laughs> As Ooh. I am now going to venture into the world of Elden Ring. I am super I don't know excited who she is, but to she play sounds that. Like a bit... Thank you. Thank you, Seres. <laughs> or Slev. <laughs> and last thing. So I'll be on again at 10 o'clock. Please keep your eye on the stream and drop on in and hang out with me. If not, please go absolutely check out Shadashura when she goes live. Please. Because she is awesome. Aw, thank you. And before we go, please remember, every single day, do something for your mental health. Do something for your physical health. You are a fine adventurer as well. And you should be an epic adventurer. So see to it and take care of number one. All right? Because we want to go on that grand epic adventure with you. And until we meet again, my friends, remember to always, and I mean always, crit those gains! And we'll see you on the next stream. Take care, everyone.